the suits look right, even some of the wigs. But there were questions last night over whether the stars of a new film about the Beatles were quite the lookalikes audiences might expect. The actors playing the Fab Four in Midas Man were spotted posing for selfies during a break in filming in London Soho. Jonah Lees, 26, plays John Lennon alongside Blake Richardson, 22, Paul McCartney, Leo Harvey Elledge, 19, George Harrison, and Campbell Wallace, 20, Ringo Starr. The film focuses on the life of manager Brian Epstein who died of an overdose at the age of 32. Epstein, played by Jacob Fortune Lloyd, discovered the band playing at the Cavern Club in Liverpool and helped set them on the journey to megastardom. Epstein, who is often referred to as the fifth Beatle, discovered the band in 1961 and managed the group until his death in 1967. Midas Man will also star Emily Watson, Eddie Marson, Lucas Gage, Rosie Day, and Bill Milner. It will also see an appearance from TV host Jay Leno, 71, as Ed Sullivan, host of the classic variety show The Ed Sullivan Show. The Beatles first appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show on February 9, 1964. Their appearance was watched by a then-record 73 million viewers. The episode is regarded as a cultural milestone that ushered in American Beatlemania as well as the British invasion of American pop music. The Beatles went on to make two additional appearances on the show in February of 1964 and returned in May 1965. The band gave their last live performance on the show in August 1965. Midas Man, which is directed by Sarah Sugarman, comes as Beatlemania appears to be making a comeback. Peter Jackson's three-part documentary The Beatles, Get Back, featuring footage of the band recording the Let It Be album, premieres on Disney Plus in November. The nearly eight-hour documentary called From Film and Recording Outtakes of Those Sessions reveals a self-aware band with a rare connection and work ethic that still knew how to have fun, yet was also in the process of breaking up. Jackson, the Academy Award-winning maker of the Lord of the Rings series, was discussing another project with the Beatles when he inquired about what happened to all the outtakes of director Michael Lindsay Hogg's 1970 Let It Be film. Nearly 60 hours of film taken over three weeks existed, mostly unseen, and the band had been considering what to do with it. Jackson took that material, as well as 150 hours of audio recordings, and spent four years building 